This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Roger Sands with me. I have known you for so, so long. My goodness, uh, we could talk forever about photography in itself. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But you are here today to talk about the uh, Smith Falls Curling and Squash Club. You are the marketing and publicity person on the board. Right, okay. exactly. Yep. So, and it is that time of year. Is the ice in? Nope, not yet. Not yet? Um, they turn the ice plant on shortly and it takes a while to cool everything down and then they start to flood and then you have to book your time in with the, um, there's, a, there's a guy that does the uh, rings in the ice and each club has their particular time in the, uh, in the sort of eastern Ontario, Ottawa Valley area. And it's a special type of ice too, it's got little bumps in it. Well, so. it's, it's, it's ice until it gets to the final stage, it's just regular old frozen water. <laughs> okay. But then once the rings are painted uh, and all the markings are put on the ice, uh, then there's some more flooding to get a, an, an ice layer over that. And then finally, when it comes time to curl, um, they put what's called a pebble on the ice. So it's all little bumps and um, the rock rides on the little bumps. And as the rock slows down, the little bumps are, are what lets it curl. <laughs> okay. So it's not like hockey ice. And a lot of people are reluctant to try curling because they think it's really slippery. Because if they've ever been on, you know, river ice or hockey ice or whatever in in a pair of shoes, they go, uh oh, you know, and it's like you shuffle along. But because of the pebble on the ice, it's um, it's not slippery. Um, so you can actually, with a pair of running shoes on, you can run beside the rock and sweep. And there's some, it must be some kind of science with the sweeping part of it too, like when mm -hmm. to stop, when to start, really oh, harder, yeah. all that sort of stuff too. Yeah, so that's there's an element to that. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. That comes with experience. Egg, well, yeah, it does. Yeah. And, and you know, there's been research done uh, like probably over the last like 15, 20 years. They've looked at sweeping. I mean, it used to be the brooms, you know, where there was yes. like back of, and now that's that's gone. You can't even have one of those on the ice anymore because of the little bits and pieces that fall off it. Okay. Um, so it's now brushes. So um, and the brushes are very much controlled as to what they're made of, especially in the higher, like the you know the the briar and the Olympics and things. You have to use a specific material on the brush, um, and uh, they're very picky about that. Uh, yeah, historically, that was typically straw. It the was boots. straw, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and there was all kinds of bits and pieces would fly off that, and then of course a rock hits one of those little little bits that's left over, and it would go <laughs> or or stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I mean speaking history too. I mean, I, I got this pamphlet in the mail a couple of weeks ago. I love the fact that there's a bit of history in it. I can remember back to the curling club being on James Street. Yeah, yeah, I yep. can remember mm -hmm. that building being there. Yeah. And then uh, we, well, we had one even before that, and then we moved on to the beautiful building that you're into now. Yeah, it's, it's a great building. And it's, um, 1979 was when that building was, was initially built. Uh, the squash, squash courts were added onto it. So that, um, so we've got four sheets of curling ice. Uh, there's a big lounge. Um, there's an exercise room, change rooms, and then there's the squash courts. Uh, so there's two squash courts. As now well. we've just gone through a pandemic and everything like that. But other than the t the pandemic, moving forward, squash is going to be all year round. Squash is all year round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, curling. The the ice is going in. You've got an open house coming up. Yeah. Uh, the ice Nora typically goes in and is ready by mid October. So we have um, we have two open houses. Uh, 20, let me make sure I get the dates right here. The 29th of September, uh, it's a Thursday from 4 to 8 p.m. And then also Thursday, October 13th from 4 to 8 p.m. The ice will be in by the time that one's on. And then there's a try the ice, um, which is basically just open to anybody who wants to come out. Uh, members obviously would come out just to kind of get themselves in the, in the flow of curling again. Uh, but anybody who's never curled can come out to the try the ice. And, um, you know, we'd uh, have people there to you know, show them a little bit about how to deliver a rock and that kind of thing. And I think the biggest thing, myself too, to get over is it's not as slippery as you think it is, like you mentioned you, earlier. Exactly, yeah. Um, you have a, you have grippers on your feet, um, so running, running shoes work, but um, whenever anybody gets into curling, they buy, the, they buy a proper set of curling shoes. So the curling shoes have, um, the one that you slide out on to deliver the rock has got a, uh, a coating on the bottom of it. Um, they're made of various things. Most 
adhesive. It's like a, like a Teflon kind of material, mm -hmm. and so it's really quite slippery. But you put a rubber gripper over top of that for most of the time, and then only when you're going to deliver the rock do you put the you know the slippery part down that uh, allows you to slide out and, and deliver the rock. Now I have seen an apparatus that people use that can't get down and bend and do it. It's it's almost like a pole. Yeah, yeah. it's 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 called a, a stick, and it's stick curling, and okay. um, it's opened up curling to thousands yeah. thousands and thousands more people who've got bad knees or hips or that just don't feel comfortable crouching crouching down and uh, you've seen it on TV I mean uh, yeah. those people are all you know they've curled since they were like five years old yes. <laughs> you know, most of them and, and they're they're so steady on the ice um, but you if you're not steady on the ice you don't need to use the slider you can have grippers on both feet and use the stick it's kind of kind of similar to shuffleboard, you know, that you've seen people okay, play, yes. play. But mm -hmm. so the the stick uh, latches onto the handle of the rock, and um, you just walk out with it and um, let it go. And you can still put the put the turn on it to make it curl. And there's some very 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 good stick curlers. Like they, um, a lot of the older curlers have have gone from. Uh, you know the traditional delivery to to, uh, to stick, and they are very, very, very good and very accurate with it. It's a it's a smooth transition for most who's been. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's more of um, uh, I don't know how you say like a, like sort of a mental transition of oh, I can't get down there and I can't do that anymore, so I'm going to give up curling. Yes. But then they realize that all right, if I use the stick, I can still curl, that's and right. that's a big that's a big thing. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And and from what I, I've heard, a lot of times too, people go out and they try the curling, and it's like wow. This is fun. Yeah. You know, and oh, it so, is. so these yeah. just going out and try uh, events that you have is, is wonderful yeah. for people. Yeah. Exactly. You may yeah, be thinking yeah, about yeah. it, but let's do it and you get well, it. I used to watch it on TV all the time, mm -hmm. and, and I, you know, I because it's kind of like um, chess on ice, or, because there's a lot of strategy and there's a lot of, you know, sort of uh, intricacies to the game when you really get into how how to set up an end and how to score and and um, so, but I, and I'd watched it all the time on TV, and then. Um, um, Tom Folks, um, who was a member of the, uh, the curling club, mm -hmm. um, he, he I, I would, oh, well, I was doing a family portrait for them, um, and it was their it was their anniversary, and they had just been at the curling club for a reception, and I said, oh, you know, I always watch curling, and I thought. I'd like to maybe try that. And so Tom immediately said, ah, ah okay. okay. Yeah. This was in April, and he said, I'll call you in October. And he phoned me in October and said, come on out and try it. So I did try the ice. I went on a Saturday and you know, threw a few rocks and thought, yeah, I'd like to do this and joined the club and Excellent. ever since. And ever since, and that's been 15 years. 15 years, yeah. 15 and it, years. it just, it, well, the thing I love about it is it makes the winter go faster. It does. Um, you, know? Yeah. you know, like it starts in October and, and you know, Christmas hits and then, and, but you curl like two, one, maybe two, three times a week and all of a sudden it's April. <laughs> yeah, and you know, if you're not a winter person, I, I've heard that so many yeah. times, like l embrace something that's wintery. Exactly. If you like skating, if you like curling, if you like skiing, yeah. embrace something that's just got something yeah. to do with winter because it can be a long. <laughs> and the other thing I like about it is that I, I don't like the cold. Like mm -hmm. I'm, and you know, people say, well, why do you, if you don't like the cold, why are you curling? You know, but I, but the, the good thing is that it's temperature controlled. It is below freezing inside the arena, but there's no wind. Yes. Um, and uh, like you, it can be minus 30 out or it can be plus 4 out and the inside of the curling club is controlled. Um, so it's not really cold. We have a lot of members that actually, um, once they get sweeping, um, they take their jackets they off start and, to get and they're in short, short sleeve t-shirts. That's not me, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but there are a lot of them. There, I like that. So you know, it's it's great exercise too. So, so this uh, the, the come out and try the ice day. Like, do you yeah. want people to register or make appointment? Do they just no? Show they up? can they can just show up. It's uh, it's uh, from ten to three, and there'll be people there. And uh, I mean, if you're an experienced curler, you can just go on the ice and you know practice a bit. And if you're not, uh, and you want to try out something, there'll be there'll be people there to show you how to do it. You'll have the equipment there. For the equipment them to try and, everything and everything is there. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. People don't need to go out and buy a pair of special shoes or anything. There are sliders that um, that are kind of like just a little. Uh, um, slip on you know, that hook over your toe uh, that you can put on on to, to get the feel of, of the sliding and then as soon as you aren't delivering a rock you can just take it off excellent yeah. excellent so you've got an open house twice and you've got the try come out and try the ice, try ice yep. how is the regular season unfolding 
Uh, well, teams are getting put together for yeah. uh, like there's a men's league and there's a um, there's a league called the Week Enders, uh, which is W E A K Enders. Oh, gee. <laughs> so uh, and they play um, they are they're fixed teams uh, and they alternate between Friday night and Sundays, um, so that um, you know people that can it, it gives it a little bit of variety in terms of uh, when you can go men's the men's league is Mondays and Tuesdays, and then the rest of the time most of the curling is what's uh, is sort of open curling where uh, you just come and your name is on a little tag and there's four four little bins and one says lead, second, vice and skip and you just put your name tag in the position that you want to play oh, okay. um, and then about uh, 10 minutes before the, the time to start the um, uh, the convener of the league just pulls names out of the bins and they make up teams and oh. so every time you every time you come you play with different people. So you get to meet and new different people levels yeah, of yeah, uh, yeah. different yeah. levels too, and that that also goes on uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoons. Uh, it's recreational curling, and uh, there's a lot of uh, retired people, a lot of seniors um, who come out uh, in the afternoon to uh, to curl. Excellent. And it's Excellent. It, and it's strictly fun. Like there's you, you keep score during the game, but, but it doesn't really sometimes. matter. And there's no yeah. standings, <laughs> and there's not, it's just you know everybody has a good time. Right, right, right. So in terms of squash, though, if people want to get involved with squash, yeah, squash. Um, all these times, uh, the try the ice is um, also there'll be somebody there for for squash. So if uh, if you like racket sports and um, and and you've always wanted to try out squash, uh, you can come out at those times and uh, there'll be somebody there to to um, let you on the court. Absolutely, and it's another yeah. way to get you through the winter too. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, and, and it's the um, <coughs> the squash section. Uh, you have a, uh, if you're a member, you have a key fob. Um, that okay. open you so you can come in at five o'clock in the morning and play squash it, you can book online um, and um, so you can you can go online see when there's an opening and if you've got somebody you regularly play with you can just book that time in if it's uh, 6 30 in the morning fine if it's uh, you know midnight okay you can just swipe your your key fob and and you just get into the squash section that's right oh it's a, that's great too because some people like to get their exercise and everything done yeah. and over with first thing in the morning then go to yeah. work and Oh, and it's you get the home and you think I've already done my work. The courts are busy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, like, and those are the prime times. Is the uh, is is the the early morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to drive by there to go to work in the morning, and it's the parking lot. It's is. Yeah, there's cars. Oh yeah, there's cars <laughs> there. There's cars there for sure, for yep. sure. Mm -hmm. So for more information about our Smith Falls Curling and Squash Club, how do they get a hold of you? How do they get a hold of the? Uh, the easiest thing to do is to go to the website. Mm -hmm. It's um, really hard to remember. It's curlingsquash.ca. So that's and like that's easy. us. <laughs> yeah, like easy, easy. As long as you can spell those two words, there's no dot in the middle, nothing. Just uh, curlingsquash.ca. Uh, there's um, all the information is there. Um, well, you can see some of it going on the on mm -hmm. the monitor here. Um, we do have um, we do have special membership rates for new members, as well as we have a uh, 20 to 30 year old membership rate which is lower to try and encourage younger people to um, to come out and enjoy the uh, enjoy the sport. Excellent, yeah, excellent. So. Well, this is great. This is, thank you very much for coming and talking to us today about all this too. And is there anything you'd like to say before we wrap up? Uh, yeah, um, we have a Learn to Curl program. Um, oh, okay, that's yes. uh, And it starts on the 5th of November. It's uh, five uh, five sessions, two hours each on uh, Saturdays from the 5th of November. And it's, uh, it's $85. Um, and if you decide to join the club after you come to learn to curl, that comes off your first year membership. Okay. So it's, uh, it's a great deal. Um, we also have our youth curling program is uh, starting up again. Again, on uh, Saturday, November 5th is the first session. It's $95 and that's for the whole season. Um, so it's uh, it's a great sport for kids to uh, to learn. If you're looking for a sport uh, for your kids um, in the winter on ice, uh, it's not nearly as expensive as hockey because you don't have to buy all the equipment and uh, not the registration and everything. So um, so that's available. And registration for both of those is available online. So you can just go to the um, to the curling website and uh, look under youth curling, and there's a registration uh, online form right there. All right, um, all right. So is this the do. first uh, uh, after the pandemic? Is this the first year yeah, that sort the, of looks normal again? Yeah, the I mean youth curling stopped completely over mm -hmm. the, over the time the pandemic was on. Um, 
we did run Learn to Curl, um, uh, but not very many people were doing it because it was this whole thing about are you open, are you not, are mm. you going to, you know, yes. all the government regulation and everything too. So our membership dropped over the last two years and so we're really looking to bring back members who were former members as well as encouraging new people to come out and give the sport a try. Oh, I'm sure you're going to get the ones that were there before yeah. back. They've been waiting for you to, to come here oh, and yeah. tell us, <laughs> yeah. tell them about yeah. uh, it's open exactly. again. Exactly, yeah. Yep. yeah mm -hmm. Exactly. And where are you located? Um, it's um, it's near the uh, Heritage House Museum mm -hmm. um, on Old, old Slides, mm -hmm. uh, just, just um, the Ball Diamonds and all that sort of recreation complex over there, and you you can see the curling club. It's a great big white building. That's right, right <laughs> yeah. across from Lower Reach Park. Yep, too, exactly. So that's yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's yep, great. Yep. Well, I appreciate you coming out here today and telling us more. You got to come back and tell us uh, more about what's going on at the curling oh, club. I okay. know uh, you can rent the facility sometime too. Right? Um, yeah, for, for uh, wedding receptions, mm -hmm. um, meetings, banquets, uh, w during obviously during the off season, uh, so that'd be May till kind of, well, September, early October. Um, we have, you know, big weddings in the, um, oh, yes. in where the yeah. arena is. Um, and for smaller things, we've got the lounge, uh, I think it'll, the capacity is about 150 in just the lounge area. And it's, very and it's licensed. Yeah. Um, so that You've um, got a kitchen there too. There's a big uh, kitchen. It's a commercial kitchen. Like right. it's, um, you know, inspected and, yep. <laughs> and everything. Ready yeah. to go. <laughs> ready to go whenever whenever you want. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Two years of the pandemic. We're ready to go. Everything's ready to go. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. Well, yeah. thank you very much for joining us. Roger Sands from the uh, Sniff Falls Curling and Squash Club.